Hi guys, Boom Shaka here. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about habits and the power of you know, cultivating a good habit versus cultivating a bad one. And so I actually learned this concept um, from um, The Compound Effect, which is by Darren Hardy. It's a really great book. If you guys are ever interested, you should go check it out. But he talks about a compound effect, obviously, you know, the little things that you do every day consistently build over time and cause a major effect, a major change in your life. So a lot of people think that you know, you're supposed to do something amazing and big in order to change your life. But what actually matters are the little things that you do every single day, making your bed, uh, reading 10 minutes a day, uh, visualization for five minutes a day, meditating for two minutes a day, um, eating healthy uh, consistently, you know, not binge eating on the weekends, but then eating properly on the weekdays. Uh, exercising for half an hour every single day rather than you know becoming a weekend warrior and um, exercising a bunch on the weekends you know, it's consistency over time and consistency daily is what actually changes lives but in that regard one of the things that I really learned and really helped me is that habits are actually um, like they, they're, they're like rabbits you know they, they multiply based on the the, the source so basically if you think about it if you have a bad habit what happens is that it, it becomes easier for the bad habit to multiply and for have for more bad habits to come into your life so you know you'll have a day where you eat really badly you know you have sugar in your diet or you have ice cream or you have a cake or whatever it might be and then you decide okay you know what I've already eaten badly I'm just gonna skip the exercise for today because there's no point and you skip that so that's another bad habit added on top of that and then you decide you know well I'm already on this phase so why don't I just watch some TV all night long instead of reading a book and so you see what happens is that once you have one bad habit it just multiplies and grows and you have more and more bad habits coming into your life and it just multiplies like rabbits um, the same thing happens with good habits actually and it's actually the, the power of good building good habit systems and so what you do is that you know you start off by something really really small maybe like making your bed every day and I know that's something really, really tiny, and most of us will think that there has no, it has no effect on you. But it's one of the most powerful habits that you can start off with. I mean, that's the reason military and navies and all that stuff, in order to cultivate good habits in their cadets, that's what they start off with, making your bed perfectly in the morning as soon as you get out of it. That kind of set the tone for the rest of the day so that you're able to bring more good habits into your life. So you already say to yourself, subconsciously or consciously, you're like, you know, I already started the day on a great note. I, I made my bed. I'm starting off perfectly. Let me keep this treat. Let me keep on going. And then so you eat a healthy breakfast. You might have a green smoothie or a really protein-packed omelet, whatever it might be, instead of uh, grabbing a bagel or a donut. Instead of you know grabbing your tea or coffee during the day, you're like, I'm going to drink water. Um, instead of you know sitting down and having junk food during the, in, in lunchtime, you might actually pack a salad. So I mean, it'll, it'll keep on compounding because you'll keep on bringing good habits into your life because that's just how habits are. Habits come in pairs and triplets. They don't stick around on their own. It cultivates, once you have one good habit, it'll cultivate more. If you have one bad habit, it'll cultivate more. So the, this, the learning that I got from it is that I need to be really vigilant about not letting any bad habits creep into my life and extremely vigilant about improving the number of good habits I have in my life. And I do that, like I said, by making my bed every morning, making sure I meditate as soon as I get up in the morning, eating as healthy as possible throughout the week, not just binge, binging on the weekends or doing something like that, you know, I'm not breaking the habit. And I don't think of weekends as something special where I can just do whatever the hell I want. It's still part of the week and I still, you know, put my habits into, uh, into process even on the weekends. I don't think of weekends as a, as a time off from these habits that I've built because as soon as you take a couple of days off you know your whole habit system is broken to pieces so you gotta keep on at it seven days a week consistently daily in small bits small chunks and that is what's going to change your life you know, consistency over time in small daily habits so I hope that this video helped you again my name is Boom Shaka if you guys are interested you can join my free Facebook group the millionaire happy if not I'll see you guys in the next video ciao for now